I am single. I have no trouble meeting women. I mean, women approach me six, seven times a day. Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we learn how to pick up some women. As you guys may know, I have a master's degree in womenology. Now you might be like, Pegasus, you you went to school for 20 years and, and, and you talked to zero women. That's because I was studying them. I was taking down notes in my journal, okay? I was observing them and all for today, okay? Let me teach you the ways of our protagonist, Batman. Today we're looking at a guy who got rejected by a girl and straight up turned into Batman. He basically just goes, You want me, bro. You want me. I'm rich. I'm famous. I'm exquisite. I'm Greek. Your friends are jealous of me even asking you out. Please take this epic opportunity and become Batman's boyfriend. Basically, this guy gets rejected and he leaves this absurd voicemail, okay? I don't know what it is with guys and voicemails. Please, do not leave voicemails, okay? It's gonna end up on the internet and I'm gonna laugh at you. Stop. Yeah, hi there, old bitch, Dimitri. Sorry I had to leave such a rushed message with you. Uh, when we uh, met the other day. I just want to quickly give you your, uh, my phone number and I had to get the heck out of the area. Okay, so basically this guy went up to her, handed her his phone number, and then ran away. Obviously not because he's a scaredy cat and can't talk to women in person or he's intimidated or anything. It's because he's a busy man. You don't understand. He's got criminals to fight. He's a billionaire, okay? You can't tie Batman down. He was busy picking up 15 other women in his Batmobile, okay? It's not that he's scared. I don't know why you would think that. In any event, I figure I better leave you a more detailed message um, and explain why I approached you. I am single. I have no trouble meeting women. I mean, women approach me six, seven times a day. Okay, so this guy leaves her a voicemail saying, let me explain why I ran away like a little pussy, right? What would a normal person say? Okay, I approached you because I thought you looked nice, okay? I wanted to be friends. I wanted to go on a date. Meanwhile, this guy immediately gets defensive. He's just like, oh, oh, 65 women approach me like every day. I can actually barely move without a female just resting on my giant pee pee. In fact, right now I'm struggling to speak because there's actually 30 women just, just sitting on my face, you know? By the way, I don't care which member of the male species you are. I don't care if you're Tom Holland or Dwayne The Rock Johnson, okay? Six to seven women are not approaching you on a daily basis. Get the hell out of here. Six to seven, who do you think you are? Get out. First off, in general society, as we've established, okay? Usually the guys are the ones that approach the girls, so you'd be lucky if a girl approached you, okay? And six to seven times a day, my god, do you just walk around shirtless with your abs everywhere? Teach me me this absolute magic love potion you've got going on but i'm very particular about what i like you're extremely elegant i couldn't take my eyes off of you and your friends were very jealous even if they say they weren't they were envious of the fact that uh, i approached you you're a smart guy i get it epic strategy right flatter her you're very elegant you're like the seven million dollar swan figurine that i keep in my batmobile you actually remind me of my 74th girlfriend fr from high school you know she was also very elegant this guy knows all the tricks right your friends were also jealous even though they didn't actually say it and i made it up in my head your friends were actually very jealous i know they might have said that who the hell was that creep that just walked up to you but they actually meant oh my god i wish it was me i wish he walked up to me handed me a note and then ran away like a pussy i wish he left me a voice message detailing how he's batman and how i absolutely need to get on his pee pee they were envious of the fact that uh, i approached you and i was very taken by you elegant women are very rare i'm greek and i'm very particular about what i like so I'm giving you an opportunity here. Yeah, I'm very particular about what I like, you know? I, I choose women that don't run away from me screaming. Also, what the hell does you being Greek have to do with anything? Yeah, guys, I'm Greek. I just have this exquisite taste, right? You're actually just a very rare artifact that I found. Yeah, I would compare you to like a, a Fortnite legendary weapon. Your women friends are jealous of the fact that a hulking muscular Greek god such as myself approached you. The only juice you should be slurping is the slob coming out of my- I can't, I need, I need to stop. I'm giving you an opportunity, a chance of a lifetime, okay? A winning lottery ticket. This is better than a two-for-one peanut butter deal at Walmart. My guy is like an actual marketing genius, you know? Like, Greek god, movie writer, six to seven women daily. What do you not have? So I'm giving you an opportunity here. I don't know if you pick up the messages on the weekend, but I'm, I'm working on a movie script, so I'm pretty much around all weekend doing that. 
I left you my number, 416. Here, I'm gonna leave you my number in case you threw the other one away, right? Just immediately starts before she can even like cut it off. Just by chance, she might memorize that number and I don't know, have that hidden urge to just call you. What the hell do you think you're doing? This looks like a landline and if it is, you may not get the message till Monday, but when you do call me, and then we'll get together for coffee and chat and uh, let the romance begin. Let the romance begin? What the hell? What kind of a weirdo says that? Look at how uncomfortable she is through the phone. She's doing like that, oh, oh, ah, uh, oh, what the hell? Dude, I can't imagine talking to this guy in person. Just like the biggest ego, ultimate narcissist. How do you, how do you even function with this guy? He even says when you call me, not, not if you call me, not if you will report me to the police for being a creepy stalker, just when you'll call me. You you know, when you'll call me and drink my Greek coffee, th then we'll let the romance begin. Not just you though, we'll have a whole session with the other six to seven women that approach me daily. You look very taken aback by my approach, and I hope that isn't timidness. I hope it was just a little bit of uh, shock at being approached so um, uh, directly. Uh, because I don't really date timid women. I don't date timid women. Translation, I don't date women who think I'm weird and creepy and run away from me. Dude, if I got this voice message, I'm getting a restraining order, okay? <laughs> I don't understand why you're so fixated on this exquisite women. Just choose one of the other six to seven women. You look very taken aback by my approach. Also, obviously, she's taken aback by your approach because your approach is to be a self-obsessed weirdo sending her creepy voice messages. You remind me of that guy from the Netflix series you you know the hyper obsessed stalker kind also you said this was a direct approach somehow sending creepy voice messages is a direct approach I wonder what your indirect approach was send her a message from the Riddler maybe I become more and more embarrassed as a male every day dude but I just wanted to formally introduce myself now I have I leave the ball in your court you call me as soon as you uh, have the courage to okay Olga talk to you soon Bye. Yeah, call me as soon as you have the courage to, says the guy who left his number and ran away. I leave the ball in your court, you call me. I leave the ball in your court, but remember, right, the ball is actually Batman and is a Greek god with exquisite taste with for your elegant booty, okay? Who gets seven women uh, sitting on his pee, pee daily, okay? I am single. I have no trouble meeting women. I mean, women approach me six, seven times a day. I don't know how you tried to sound like an absolute complete Chad, but ended up looking like the most desperate guy out there. When you meet a high value man with excellent charm and charisma, actually. Anyways, if you guys didn't know, I'm posting every other day on my second channel, so make sure to subscribe. Okay, let me know what you guys thought about Batman here. Go watch more videos. I appreciate you. Love you. Bye-bye.